For many students, high school is the time to figure out their passions, and one Sioux Falls student has realized her passion is journalism. Reese Duncan has been reporting stories for the Lincoln High School newspaper for the last three years. Kelloland's Lauren Solick is sharing her story as the newest South Dakota High School Journalist of the Year. For me, writing stories has been one of the greatest experiences of my life thus far. Reese Duncan is more than just a senior in high school. She's also the online editor-in-chief of the Lincoln High School newspaper, The Statesman. Journalism is so big for me. When I was first exposed to it in The Statesman as a sophomore when I joined, um, it just immediately called out to me because journalism is a way of connecting people. And her work has connected her to a big honor. In March, she was named the South Dakota High School Journalist of the Year. I think it's well-deserving. Reese is someone that has worked really hard to get to where she is. And what's really cool is that this is just the beginning. She has a very awesome future ahead of her in journalism. So it's no secret. Reese Duncan loves journalism. I love Steve Hartman and CBS Evening News and CBS Sunday Morning and 60 Minutes and all of that. All those journalists, they inspire me so much. And now she's the one doing the inspiring. She's also made a great impact on the rest of the staff, so I think that by imprinting kind of her, her goal of becoming a journalist, she's inspired other students too. I think a lot of people see journalism as something that might be waning somehow and that you see journalists getting all this, this backlash for stories, but I think especially here in Lincoln with our journalism program, it shows that the world will always need storytellers. So being able to have the courage to tell the stories is really what matters. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Duncan is planning on studying broadcast journalism at the University of Missouri in the fall. To check out some of the work she's done with the Statesman, just follow the link under this story on Kelloland.com.